In this video, we're going to be talking about flow, all the basic concepts of flow. Uh, I could teach you all the individual tricks and you still wouldn't be able to fully grasp what flow is. Uh, we'll, we'll need to start first by a definition. What is flow? And flow is a type of drill or a style of drill or a connection of movements that is primarily combo based that is designed around preserving momentum of the rifle without making it stop, without making it stunted or choppy or anything like that. So I have here on my rifle, I've marked three locations. The black tape right here, in the middle of these three locations, the blue tape, the black tape, the blue tape, the black tape is my balance point. So when I do some of these tricks, you'll be able to see where my hands are located around the balance point. The blue tape represents a zone. All of flow, all of that preservation of momentum, almost all of it, comes between this location here. So when we're doing something like a left-handed continuous, every time I catch it, the middle of my hand is in the middle of the black tape here. With the two-handed continuous, same thing, I'm just passing it off. Middle of the tape, black tape, black tape, black tape. And these are two very basic flow moves that can be considered flow because the rifle momentum never stops. When I'm doing this, I am simply preserving the momentum or adding to it if I want to. But when I stop, it no longer becomes a flow trick. So when we talk about a, a rising sun, for instance, it's going to be sort of centered around this black tape, but there's something very different about a rising sun where I want you to focus on this blue tape. What I want you to focus about this blue tape is that its location is in this curved part of the bulb. And that's going to be important for your right hand thumb. And I'll explain why. When I'm doing a rising sun or a C-set, any move that requires a C-set, including fire knives, um, TIC cross planes, anything like that. Anything requiring me to go like this. My hand is not actually centered on this black tape. It's actually centered on the blue tape. And my thumb actually comes all the way over the top of this curved part of my rifle. This is where the gap in my hands are. When a lot of people learn a C, C set, they have a tendency to move their hand like this and they leave this part open. And that is not only limiting, but it's dangerous. Because if I'm holding it like this, the only way the rifle leaves my hands, it can't go that way, it can't go that way, it can't come towards me, it's the only way to slip out of my grip like this. So if you're trying to teach somebody else how to do flow, a simple technique is to grab their wrist. And when you grab a wrist, tell them to get free. And they can pull out, they can pull in, they can pull up, but the only way out of the wrist is where your middle finger and your thumb touch. Or if there's a gap, there's a gap between the middle finger and the thumb. That's the only way to escape a grasp. So if you're teaching someone to flow, teach them like that. So you, if this rifle was to slip away, it'd slip away away from me instead of, say, above me. So that's, that's an important factor number one. Keep your thumb wrapped around the top. Learn how to C-set consistently like this. And it'll make everything much easier. So I'm over here, behind my back. And when I cross, I actually grab over here. So flow isn't centralized around the balance point. It sort of is, but it sort of is not. It's balanced in this zone around the balance point. And when I come around to the front side from a rising sun, again, it's just like a C-set where I wrap my thumb around the top, around this blue area.
and then whenever I stop, it's power move. Power always happens at the end. We'll cover that in a different video. So that is a very basic understanding of flow. And a lot of the tricks that are covered in my trick library have a C set setup. But what do you do if, you know, you can do clockwise. When I say, what a C set is, is it's a counterclockwise spin. And that means from my perspective, looking at the rifle, the rifle is traveling in a counterclockwise direction. But there is another way for the rifle to spin. Instead of this way, it's to spin in a clockwise direction. And there's plenty of flow to be had in a clockwise direction. Plenty of setups that way as well. So what if I'm in the middle of a routine or a segment or a sequence and I want to go from a counterclockwise spin to a clockwise spin? Let's say to throw an aerial or something. There's a very easy way to do it without having to stop the rifle entirely and flip it around and then go into it because that'll look choppy. And the way to do it is all in the footwork. I'm going to move the camera down so you'll be able to see my feet. And I'm going to be doing a trick called a drag. So watch my feet. The rifle is like a C set, right? But to do a drag, I'm actually going to have my hand further up in the zone. And when the rifle falls, there's a tutorial on this. I cross over and swing the rifle around. And now, when the rifle was traveling counterclockwise at first, it's traveling this way from my perspective, it's now traveling this way, which is in a clockwise direction. So learning how to change direction is all about learning about how to control your footwork. You can do a drag, which changes it from counterclockwise to clockwise. You can go behind the back and bring it back in front, um, which that'll take it from a clockwise direction into a counterclockwise direction. So every time I'm facing a direction and I turn around and I bring the rifle with me, its orientation changes. And if you know which tricks require a counterclockwise setup versus a clockwise setup, you'll be able to connect these together through your footwork. Like that. So I'm going to show you real quick the last thing on the list is to go behind the back here. And so, single spin, drop it behind your back, and it's almost like you're just doing this. So from the front, it looks like this, but then I'm moving my body around it and transferring it off. So real quick here, Take a look at all of my hand structure and hand positions. I've actually got the sling facing in towards me, which I'm going to go from here to here with. And then I'll bring it in front. With this though, you're going to end in kind of a very weird jankity counterclockwise spin which I usually go into a wrap with and transfer that into my OTH segments, which we'll cover in another video. So that's all the basics of flow. Have fun, practice with it, learn new tricks, learn what you can do with it. Segment your tricks, what you can do clockwise, what you can do counterclockwise, and then put it all together by using your footwork. Remember these zones. The first zone is right below the upper sling swivel. The second zone is at the, the very first part where your bolt curves over and then remove your balance point. If you're not one of these areas, you're probably not gonna be able to achieve good flow unless you're doing things like tuck and roll or flailing rifle, things like that. Uh, those are the exceptions to the rule. But for 90% of what you're gonna be doing in flow, it's between this and this.
Have fun and happy drilling.